welcome back to the good the better life of Brittany. so by the time you guys are watching this video y'all have seen the previous two videos of us moving so i want to show you guys where we moved to so this is our um house tour empty house tour partially empty house tour but this is our house tour of the new house that we'll be staying in uh, we are renting it if you guys haven't checked out the two previous videos definitely check them out but let me get on it to show you guys the house so this is the front door i'm trying not to show you guys the address but this is the front door so um, I'm going to turn the camera around so you guys can see it as we walk in. Come to a little foyer. I think that's what you call it. And this is the front. It's used to trash bags. Like I said, we're in the process of getting all our stuff moved in. So, yeah. And it has really, really high ceilings and a light there. I think Michael has to switch out that light bulb. And a closet here. I'm not sure if anything's in this closet or not. No, this is kind of like a little storage closet. So, all right. Stand back one more time so you guys can see it. I'll stand this way so y'all can see it. So this is how you walk in. All right, and then to the left is like a den slash sitting room. Let me turn the light on. It's like a den, and it's a big space. It has the three windows, and you know, um, anybody can sit in here, but it's like a just a little sitting area, and it does have a light with the little crown mold, and I think that's what you call it. So, if you walk forward, you're going to walk into like the official dining room. Um, the dining room table is Michael's aunt table. So, we didn't bring any of this stuff. This is her stuff, the stuff that she left in the house. So, that's why I said it's a partial empty house tour. So, yeah, and it also has a window, and it's a pretty big area. And the table seats eight people. So, it's a pretty big area. And then there's um, some stuff she left as well. And I don't know what that is. Michael got moved it. So you can walk in this way well you can either go up the stairs or you can go to the kitchen so we're gonna go to the kitchen all right so this is the kitchen you guys and it has a lot of cabinet space and like I said before all the decorations that was left was on um, Michael's aunt decorations. so and so far, I like everything else. I want to add something. I'll just add something different at the counter. And it did come with a dishwasher. And she has the um, di garbage disposal as well as the stove and the microwave. And she has a pantry. All right. It does have some food in it, but we got to go grocery shopping now. So this is the pantry. And it's pretty big. I'm walking in it. So it's pretty big. It's big enough for me to fit in here. <laughs> so... Light off. Oh, and then the lights. All right, and then this is like another little seating area. Table of four. This is her table as well. Isn't it pretty? But this is her table as well. So this is where me, Brandy, Dante, and Michael eat dinner at. And then she has like two bar stools. This is her little wine collection that she has. So you got the. Are these doors called French doors? What do you say? Yeah. No. Just regular doors. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you have the doors that lead out to like the little seating area outside, the screen in, and then the lake in the back. All right, so the living room. Michael um, redid the living room, like just moved the stuff around. Want to say hey, babe? Um, redid stuff around, and yeah, so everything kind of stuff explanatory. So the fireplace, the TV. That's Michael's like, TV as well. She looked at as well. Um, so here's the office. Gotta find the light, you guys. Here's the office. And this is where I will be like editing my YouTube videos. And you guys know I currently edit off my phone. So I'm hoping Michael buy me a camera. And I also have a TV in here. So if I want to open the door and have the kids sit in the living room, open both of the doors. Now I think these are fresh doors. <laughs> open both of the doors and have the kids sit in the living room while I'm sitting in here watching some TV and editing some vlogs. I can do that. As well as I can also shoot in here. Cause I can get like a little backdrop and all that good stuff. So yeah, and it's a pretty nice big desk. And the actual chair for the desk is in the living room right now. So this is the size of the room. Alrighty. And she left this chair right here for a band band. So she will be sitting in her favorite little chair. So when you leave out of here, it's kind of like a little circle. You go into the hallway. And this is one of the bathrooms. This is the only bathroom downstairs. So this is the bathroom, it's pretty big. It's a walk-in bathroom, and show you guys me. But it's a walk-in bathroom. 
with the foolish full shower and all that good stuff so has everything full so almost like this would be the bath well this will be the bathroom that the guests use close that back and then right inside the bathroom is a um hall hallway closet like for storage and stuff and she has some stuff in there but we're going to put our stuff in there as well so we should probably put some of the stuff to the top some to the bottom and add our stuff in there so it has one two three four five five shelves Alright, so let's turn the light off. Yeah, let's turn the light off in the office, y'all. Alright, so this brings me back to the living room, the kitchen, and the stairwell. Oh, um, before? Oh, I didn't think it's going to be big enough. This is the door to the garage, the stairwell, of course. This is the chair that Michael said we're leaving up for our parents, just in case they don't want to walk up these stairs. So let's see how Michael got up here because he brought some boxes from my house. So let's see. So this is the light. No, I told you guys the wrong light need to be replaced. But this is like you can stand to the top of the stairs and kind of look over and you can see like if anybody's at your front door, you can see who and the little light. So if I'm not dressed or anything, I can just run up here and look to see who's at the door and then go get dressed. So the, when you walk upstairs. Me. This is the very first bedroom. This is like the guest bedroom. Michael and I actually did this bedroom and she left everything in it the same. So this will be where my mom will spend the night at and Michael's mom will spend the night at if you know they want to stay the night. <coughs> Excuse me, she left the TV. I'm not gonna show you the closet because it has their stuff in it, so I'm just not gonna show you that. But it has a really big window and the blinds for the window. So the closet. I think we still have to straighten out the closet and everything, but this is where we will put our towels and our washcloths at. We're going to kind of straighten up her stuff and then put our towels and washcloths in there. And like I said, if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, definitely check out the first two videos because it gives more details, okay? So this is the bathroom. Michael said we got to um, clean it, so we're going to clean this bathroom up. So let me clean it all that good stuff so you guys get to see that. But I'm just going to kind of show you guys how she has it decorated so far. So, and I love her shower room right? because it's like a little circle, so I love that. So we're gonna get the bathroom clean up and everything, but it is a full bathroom, just so you guys can see. So this will be the bathroom that Dante and Brandy use. All right, and then when you're walking, like headed towards the master, she has a dresser and two little um, chairs. So if anybody's upstairs and they're waiting on you to get dressed in the room and any of that good stuff, like my sister, they can sit on the chairs. So this room is gonna actually be Brandy room and Michael is also gonna put his bed in here. So it's gonna be a guest room slash brandy room. It's gonna be decorated in brandy stuff, but we're gonna have an extra bed in here. And then this is the closet. So this is gonna be brandy closet. It's really, really big. You walk in. I'm gonna close the door so you guys can see. So it's a really, really big closet. More than enough space for brandy. And that's the door and I'm standing to the wall. So more than enough space for brandy stuff. And it's high, it has top shelves. So, yeah, Brandy stuff should fit perfect in here. She don't have that much clothes, so, yeah. Let me stand back up so you guys can see. So, that should fit perfectly. And then Brandy has one window, which is awesome. We don't need her having too many windows. And Michael has a back cleaner because he was vacuuming out. I'm going to show you guys the master's last. So, let me show you guys Dante's room. This is Dante's room. She left the TV for us. But this is Dante's room. He has four windows in his room. And it's really, really big in here, you guys. Let me show y'all. But this is the room that he chose. So I'm like, okay, your room is bigger, so you're gonna be cleaning up more. So this is his closet. And we kind of straighten it up. They do have some stuff in here, but we're gonna straighten that out and get that out for Dante. Those boxes, well, the one on top probably stayed, the one down, down on bottom, I could probably put up downstairs in the closet. And that's some other stuff that Michael might have. But we're just gonna leave it up there, you know, until we move all our stuff in and get all the stuff situated. So, and it's a walk-in closet. It's pretty big, you guys. So, Dante can hang up all his stuff and put his bins and toys on there. He can also stand and play in here if he likes. So, really, really big. And this is the room from the closet. So, I hope this video is doing justice as to how big these rooms are. Because they're huge, you guys. And like I said, he has four windows in his room. The next room we get to is the laundry room. She left her washing machine and dryer for us, and then it has like a little, I don't know what you call that, you guys, but what you use when you're mopping the floors and washing stuff out and all that good stuff. Um, 
is six cabinet doors up here that we can store stuff in. They're all functional and they're really, really big and tall. So more than enough storage space for us to put our stuff in there. So this is, like I said, the storage room. I mean, the wash and dryer room. The attic is right up here. And there's a hallway light as well. I just haven't turned it on. These pillows and sheets might go move. So then we have a hallway closet. Let me back up so you guys can see it. We have a hallway closet. And it's more than enough storage. She left her towels and washcloths for us. And then we have some of our own. So we'll pile all of those in there. And as well as some other parts that she has in there. So we'll kind of film through and see which ones we're going to keep and which we're going to throw out. As well as put our products in there as well. So big. I'll show you guys. It goes all the way down there. And all the way down here. So. Alrighty. And then now for the masters. The masters has the French doors. Um. <laughs> So once you walk in, there's the bed, and we have we're gonna buy a whole new comforter set for the bed. So that's why there's no comforter on the bed. She left that dresser as well as the other dresser and this one in the mirror. All right, and then another dresser over here. This is where our TV is gonna go. And let me see, let me turn the light in here. Hope it isn't too dark. Okay, there we go. That's where our TV is gonna go. Michael is determined to put our desk right here, which we have a big desk downstairs, so I don't see why. A refrigerator she left for us and the refrigerator actually works and everything so we can put stuff in there we can put stuff in the refrigerator if we like and then this couch for me and Michael to sit and have cuddle time which probably ain't gonna work that ain't how it gonna work out y'all he gonna be complaining about having to cuddle so anywho y'all okay so then here's the bathroom oh wait let me give you guys an overview of the room All right, so here's the bathroom while we still have to finish cleaning up the bathroom, okay, you guys? So we have the two, um, what are they called? Jack and Jill sinks with the cabinets and then these three drawers that they do work. The two at the top doesn't, but the three at the bottom work. Um, the three in the middle work. And then there's like a little... <laughs> and there's like a little um sensor whenever somebody's at the door or close or open the door and let us know, which is good for having kids, so... The bathroom is really, really huge, you guys. She has this huge garden tub. Um, I'm not going to get in because I think Michael sprayed some stuff in it to clean it or is about to clean it. And then it's really nice window over the tub. The shower. I probably will end up cleaning out the shower since Michael's cleaning the tub. And the um, toilet room. And there's a light in here. And a fan. So, have you business in there and it's nice. Well, we had a separate one, but it was not as big. So, it's nice to have the separate big one. All right, you guys, and then to our closet. Brandy left that stuff down there this morning. But here's our closet. That was you with the doors. How you went out the front door and the garage door? I'm oh. um, Anywho, this is our closet. That The stuff you see over here is what um, Michael's aunt husband left for him. So this side is going to be Michael's side. And this side is going to be my side. So I mean, I got to buy some more clothes. Who get the middle? I get the middle. We'll split the middle down the middle. So, I mean, I got to buy more clothes, you guys, so I can fill it up because I don't have enough clothes. And then the little rack on top, I'll probably, I don't know, I'll, I'll find something to put up there. And then, Michael already got some shoes lined up, but I'll line up mine and all that good stuff. So, yeah, y'all. Okay, you guys, so this concludes my new house tour. Um, Like I stated before, we are renting this house. And if you guys want all the details and all the goodness and find out how we even got to this point definitely check out video one video part one and video part two definitely check them out don't forget to comment like and subscribe if you're new to my channel there we go if you're new to my channel if you're unfamiliar where we even lived before definitely stick around my channel subscribe do some looking some researching so i will see all of you lovely ladies and me later bye y'all